you did it. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. Success, but only by 323 votes. Kim Leadbeater, now MP, in the seat once held by her late sister, Jo Cox. It's pretty overwhelming, to be honest. And I've had no sleep, so I'm a bit tired. <laughs> and, but you're thinking about your future. Obviously, you're thinking about your sister. She's been mentioned today. You've, you've got everything swirling around there. Yeah, pretty much. My head is pretty full. Uh, but I'm also really, really happy that we've got this fantastic result for this area, for this community that I love. To be honest, now this is real. Are you a bit daunted? Oh, no, I'm not daunted at all, love. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for action, absolutely. Bring it on. But the numbers. Oh, you'll be spoiling my day. I don't want to spoil your day, but come on, that's a slim majority. Oh, it was always going to be tough. It was, you get 16 candidates on a ballot paper, you know, it's always going to be tough, isn't it? Tough, yes, and at moments unpleasant, with intimidation and harassment creeping in during this campaign. Labour's leader drawing a line under it all today. This is a victory of hope over division. It is a start. Labour is back. back. Labour is back. back. A day for celebration for Labour or a day to breathe a sigh of relief. It's a narrow victory, but a victory nevertheless. The opinion polls and most predictions were wrong. This is one part of the northern red wall that didn't crumble. I think Kim's, Kim's got a lot of votes from the local people, because she is local. A lot of the other candidates, in fact, I might be right in saying all of them, are not from this area. I haven't voted Labour. I voted for Kim, who unfortunately stands for the Labour Party. <laughs> and she's a unifying force, and she's what politics needs right now. She's, you know, she's not a career politician. Is it George Galloway that's come? No, it's Kim Leadbeater. Oh, is it not George Galloway? No, Kim Leadbeater. Do you think, think George Galloway had won? Yeah. Why did you think George Galloway had won? He should have, really, because what has Labour done for us? They've done nothing. With some campaign posters already discarded, George Galloway took third place here, with the Conservatives in second place, only just missing out. At the end of the day, we were a whisker away from gaining that seat. That in itself is quite a result. And actually today, Labour have a lot of questions to answer themselves. Labour are calling this a fresh start for the party. But in years gone by, it should have been a seat they'd have no trouble holding on to. Born and raised here, Kim Leadbeater now has her own fresh start as the local MP. Well, Peter's in Batley now. Peter, this result is about more than just one constituency, really, isn't it? Yeah, Sean, so much was riding on this, not just for the candidates, but for the party leaders as well. Boris Johnson, let's face it, could almost sense victory here. And Keir Starmer was already under pressure, of course, after Labour lost Hartlepool. And if they'd lost here as well, he'd be facing calls to resign. And you just have to look at the figures, though, for Labour. A couple of elections ago, they had a 9,000 majority here. Then it fell to 3,000. Now it's just 323. All right, Peter, thank you.